ultimately what we're trying to do with, with quantum computers, which are uh, stunning um, in, in their power and challenge as well. I mean, another, another number I gave, by the way, in, in the talk was that, um, so there's a, a challenge called RSA uh, 2048 or 2048, which is the, the idea that you want to crack, find the prime factors of a 2048-bit number, which is the, that's the basis of all encryption online. And uh, with standard computing, even a farm of powerful computers, supercomputer today, classical computer, it would take a billion years to factorise that number into its prime factors. With a quantum computer of 256 bits, qubits, uh, 100 seconds. So you can destroy the basis of encryption with even a quantum computer of a few bits. The trick though is that the technology you need to maintain these particles or atoms in what we call these superpositions, which is the way you need to build a quantum computer, keep them all entangled together, is extremely challenging. You need to work at very low temperatures. You can't have the environment coming in because it disturbs it and messes it up. And so that, that engineering challenge is really where we are at the moment. And I don't know what the number is, it, it varies, but, but I think something like 10 or 15 qubits have been maintained roughly speaking, in a room about as big as this at the moment. So it's probably changed now, so the experts are seeing the thing to do and say, no, it's more. But it's of order 10 or so. Um, so we need, once you get a stable configuration of 10, and then maybe 100, and then possibly 1,000 qubit, if you can imagine that, that might be 20 years away. But then you can perform quite astonishing feats of computing.